Hi there. It's me, your humble, friendly neighborhood stroke assaulter. So today is five months today I had my stroke. Five months today, I literally, figuratively, and actually had the worst day you're ever going to have. Yeah, a stroke. Um, I went from being at work, standing, talking, having a conversation, to finding the floor, to an ambulance, to a panic attack in the ambulance, to getting off the am, to hearing the scariest sentence you're ever going to hear in your entire life, you're having a stroke, to the CT machine, to a really massive panic attack once I realized how devastating this is going to be, or could be, might be, will be. So, I'm going to say right now, right off the hop, I never meant to be like a YouTube individual. It wasn't part of my idea of life. However, I started this channel partly to document my journey so friends and family can see how I'm doing. <laughs> And then it sort of morphed into a bit of an educational thing because I was encountering situations that I didn't have documentation for, that none of the resources I got at the hospital helped. And that can be through my own interactions with people in the world, my own interaction with the world, conversations on uh, my stroke walking group here in the city I'm in, or could have been in the... Um, <laughs> One of the Facebook groups, that being Young Stroke Survivors, uh, Stroke Talk, and then um, the uh, uh, Stroke Coffee House on Facebook. You know, it could be, you know, various reasons. So, if you're one of my 41 subscribers, thank you for staying along with me for this journey. If you are stumbling across my channel for the first time, hey, sit down, take a poke around, right? You might see some content that I've covered <clears throat> that might assist you or someone going through the throes of a stroke and its recovery. <clears throat> For those of you that have had a stroke, I appreciate that my first day out of the hospital might look like you're six months away from the hospital. I appreciate that I'm very lucky uh, and, I'm, and I'm grateful for how lucky I was for my outcome. I appreciate completely the position that I was left in leaving the hospital and the potential outcome that I could have had versus the one I do have, I realized that it could have never gotten any better. Right? I appreciate that. That being said, I'm grateful for where I am. So, for those of you that are having had a stroke, yeah, the only easy day was yesterday. Right? The only easy day was yesterday. The only better day might be tomorrow because today could fucking suck. Right? You are going to have, after your stroke, some of the worst days of your life. The stroke is going to be debilitating. The stroke is going to require determination and effort to work through it. Um... It's one of the reasons why the channel name is Stroke Assaulter. I'm not surviving this. I'm assaulting through and, and going to get to the objective. <laughs> My objective is as if the stroke physically never happened. Um, I would like to think that's a reality. For those of you that are supporting the Stroke Assaulter, um, or those that are surviving a stroke around you, just be present and just be patient. That's really the only advice I have, is just be present and just be patient. Um, they are going to experience a new world, right? And I appreciate <clears throat> for those that are being supporting those who've had a stroke, I appreciate you may not know what to do. Because I'll be honest, there were days where I didn't even know what I needed. Um, there are going to be days you're not going to sure, you're not going to be sure what you could do, what you should do, what you will do. Just be present. Just be patient. Uh, for those of you that had a stroke, <clears throat> you're going to be surprised by who's willing to step up and be present and remain standing with you. <clears throat> you're also going to be surprised by who's unwilling or unable or unready to stand up and be present. There are people that are going to surprise you in one of two directions. People that you thought would be in your corner and people that 
you would have never thought would be in your corner. Right? People are that are people that are essentially gonna, <clears throat> you know, become a horrible human, and you're gonna think, oh shit, I used to trust them, and then you're gonna realize, don't. It's not worth it. You're gonna be then. There's another group of people. They're just not really sure what they should do, could do. They kind of kept their distance because they they weren't really sure what they could have done. You know, they're afraid of breaking your brain or, you know, like. They want to be in your world. They're just not sure how to fit in it. Yeah, I, I can I, I can understand that, um, to a certain extent. Um, but there will be people that are going to surprise you in many directions. Um, hold on to the ones that stand up and stay present. The ones that turn out to be fucking horrible humans, get rid of them. Just, they're done. There's no need that they be present. Because they've proven they can't be present. So, just they're like driftwood. Get rid of them. So, what have I learned in five months? Like, what does my journey look like? Now, granted, you see me for 15 or 20 minutes at a time, except for that Extreme Games John Bergman video. So, you go from figuratively, literally, and actually almost dying. You go from literally, figuratively, and actually having the worst day of your life. And then moving on from there. Well, it's from learning how to walk again. Right? I had to learn how to walk at a normal gait, stride, pace, and cadence. Right? To learning how to do stairs again. To learning how to do buttons again. To learning how to talk again. Um, to learning how to work through my communication difficulties when they present. Um, to learning that I still can cook. You know, to learn, like, there's so many things that I had to confirm that I knew how to do still. Some things I had to relearn how to do it. Like, and as an adult, you, you're not expecting to have to relearn these things, you know? No. These are things you mastered when you were under six years old. So, the stroke is very debilitating, very disheveling. However, for all of its challenges and all of the chaos, it's been very rewarding, been liberating. Um, how can a stroke be rewarding and liberating, but yet be you know, destroying your world almost. Well, how many times in a lifetime do you get a chance to redefine yourself? How many times in a lifetime do you get a chance to redefine your relationships? How many times in a lifetime do you get the chance to fight for your life? To literally, figurative, and actually fight to get where you need to be. <clears throat> you know, like... This is an endeavor that you wouldn't wish on anyone. Let me just put that out there. I, I would not wish, curse, or charm this event on anyone. It's this, this thing called stroke will rock you to your core. It will, in a matter of seconds devastate your world right things that don't look challenging can be now chaotic you know things that look easy now take effort <clears throat> and some of these things can be you know again things you had mastered by the time you were between ages six and ten like tying shoes and buttons and stairs and, you know, walking without falling on the floor. I haven't done that, but it, it, it's a possibility. Um, I, I appreciate completely that I'm lucky. And I try to be grateful about being lucky. Right? Like, let's, let's be honest here. I don't, I don't try to be dismissive to the fact that, you know, I, I have had possibly one of the best outcomes you could conceivably get after my stroke. 
And I understand that. Well, basically, if you've watched my channel up until this point, right, and, and you enjoy what you've been watching, please like, share, subscribe. If you know someone that's going through their journey post-stroke, either they're supporting someone as they go through the surviving and assaulting through their stroke, or, or they've actually survived the stroke themselves, point it out to them. There might be things they, they get benefit, because this channel got started partly to help keep friends and family in the loop, and it turned into an educational thing because I encountered things that um, I just didn't find in the documentation. If there's something you want to see me cover, leave a comment down below, or you know, you, you can get in contact with me at strokeassaulter at gmail.com. You know, I say again, strokeassaulter at gmail.com, and you can get a hold of me, and I will happily answer any and all questions, any and all comments. <laughs> now, <clears throat> I don't mean to make this all sound all doom and gloom, because it's not, right? Sure, the stroke, it, it, it's a disaster. It's an absolute, unadulterated disaster um, in, in on many levels, in many ways. And it all depends on how uniquely impacted you were because of your stroke. Right? I appreciate that not everyone's stroke experience is going to be the same. Um, but there can be life after a stroke. Right? It's not just an existence. Right? Um, Granted, your life will be forever changed, right? Certain things that may have been a priority may no longer be a priority. Certain things that were never a priority now might be an immediate need. Like, I need to go to do this, right? Um, and other things just present daily challenges. Ultimately, um, I should touch wood. Um after about a year, year and a half, maybe. So 12 months from today, say for example, so it'd be 18 months since my stroke. 12 months from today. So on November 21st, 2019, I'll be 18 months post-stroke. So 12 months from today, we'll see what the differences are. <clears throat> we'll see... Um, how drastic my changes have been right? and then we'll have a better benchmark of what's actually possible for now I'm hopeful I'm, I'm totally hopeful I, I don't see any reasons why I shouldn't get where I want to be however I still have difficulties and deficits you may not see them because they're, they're pretty discreet they're pretty subtle um, and they generally will stay discreet and subtle. Right? However, depending on the level of stimulation I've had, if I'm overstimulated, sensory overload, <clears throat> depending on how emotional I am about or, or emotional investment I am in that task, depending on how tired I am, um, will all depend on how it's going to impact me. Right? I, I don't know. Because strokes are messy and we don't know what we don't know. Uh, and that's because strokes are messy. And I haven't gotten to some of those situations and scenarios yet. I'm still waiting, right? Because there's still parts of my world I have yet to participate in. That being work, right? I have still yet to go back to work. And that's a little over a month away. Right? Uh, December 28th is the, my first day back to work. So that being said... If you happen to, again, like I've said before, if you happen to know someone who's currently going through the, the recovery throes of a stroke, if you happen to know someone that is in the middle of, you know, supporting someone as they go through the throes of recovery of a stroke, if you happen to, you know, want to see me cover something, right, uh, you can either email me, leave a comment down below, right, for those of you that have been with me since the beginning, almost of this little bit of chicanery, um, thank you, right, for those of you that, um, have just stumbled across my channel you know there's there's a hundred some videos i think i've created you might find some content um that's useful some of it's funny some of it's a bit offside i say bad words on the internet occasionally right but please like share subscribe um and if you happen to see either in yourself or someone around you the signs or symptoms of a stroke uh that being someone who looks befuddled like they're confused they don't know what's going on um, rapid changes in vision, right? You magically start to have vision issues um, that didn't exist historically or two minutes ago. 
Um, you, know, you can't see out of one eye. You can't see out of both eyes effectively. The world looks like someone smeared Vaseline on your eyeball, right? Um, you know, you start to see, you know, lights and <clears throat> whatnot. Uh, people that have facial droops, so one of the sides of your face droops. People that can't raise both arms equally effectively or at all. You can't smile equally effectively or at all. Slurred, stuttering speech, inappropriate word usage for situation or context. Um, inability to stand unaided. General body weakness, weakness on one side. Please immediately place that person in a position of comfort and dial 911. Something so simple can save a life.